and the oldest Secretary of Defense we had, and yet he says he can't understand what's going on with that. But we see the federal government coming after people who don't want to be compelled to make a signed confession of anything because we have constitutional protections against that. But that doesn't stop them, does it, Paul? Another thing is you've got to get a film called Freedom to Fascism. And I'll tell you all about the income tax. Yeah, yeah. It's well, unlawful, but they entrap you with the UCC. Yeah, we had a, a case uh, just this last November where a lady did not want to sign her income tax return. The IRS filled it out, and actually the number that they came up with was zero. And uh, But she still refused to say it. They took her to court, and they had the judge actually tell the jury they were going to hold, them in, uh, hold her in contempt. They said the, the judge told them it doesn't matter. If what I'm telling you is unlawful, it doesn't matter if what I'm telling you is unconstitutional. Do it or you're going to be in contempt. Well, this is the way we roll it back. We heard earlier that uh, Judge Andrew Napolitano said the people are not the servants. The people are the masters. Well, how do we do that? We have to get mastery of the law. That's how we have to do that. Well, how do we get mastery of the law if we've got bureaucracies in, in Washington that are never elected so you can't unelect them. They're unaccountable. They persist between Republican administrations going to Democrat administrations and on and on and on. They're there forever. They're writing their own laws. They're writing their own regulations, which have the force of law. They're now up to like 20, 28,000 pages. Uh, a few years ago, a guy wrote uh, an article in one of the uh, publications, The 10,000 Commandments. It's way beyond that now. It's, almost, it's approaching 30,000 commandments from the government. How do we get these people under control? I think one of the key things that we have to do, because we cannot count on some hero, Captain America, to get elected president. We can't even count on that at the federal level. We have to exercise the division of power that we have as the people in juries. We have to demand, we have to request jury trials, and we have to stand for each other, just as people stood for Clive and Bundy at the ranch about his property stood with him about his rights. We have to stand for each other. We have to not be intimidated by these judges who are illegally instructing people that they are not to judge the law, but only the facts as presented to them. You were there as a juror to judge and to see that justice is done. And if that means that you're going to strike down and ignore an unconstitutional law or a penalty that you think is draconian, you have an obligation to do it. And that's exactly what happened in that tax trial and they had one juror, that's all it takes, one out of 12, about 8%, to stand up to that and say no. That's what we have to do. There was a very few number of people, relatively, that were there at the Bundy Ranch. And of the people that were there, most of them were up on the overpass. They weren't down at the bottom. But a few people, if they're determined to stand up for the right thing, can do it. Thank you, Paul. Let's go to uh, Billy in California. Billy, you got something to say about the Bundy situation? How you doing, David Knight? Um, I, I wanted to talk about on Monday, you had said something about how uh, when the rhetoric was coming out from the mainstream media, like, don't go out there. You know, you guys are going to cause uh, you're going to cause a revolutionary war. You're going to cause a civil war. You're going to cause shooting and violence. You had brought up a point that says, don't listen to that, because that's just a bunch of rhetoric to make people it, it, to give us like a chilling effect. Yes. And it clicked when you said that. That reminds me of the whole Snowden thing. Was the whole Snowden thing a big false flag just to give us a chilling effect so the government can tell us now openly, we know what you're doing, we're following you, we're doing facial scans, we're doing all these, uh, we're looking at your emails. I mean, it seems like it was a big false flag. Well, you know, it, it, you always have to worry about things like that. And, you know, we had these reports that were coming out from Homeland Security saying, uh, they're, they're just uh, going to stand down and uh, give you guys the cattle because they just want to get everybody's cell phone numbers. They want to get everybody's pictures in the database. And it's like, come on, they're already doing that. We already know that they're doing that. If that's the lesson we're going to take from the Snowden leaks, that uh, we need to stand down because they're watching us, we've lost. We've lost. We've lost our backbone. We've lost our dignity as human beings. We have to stand up. That's when they say that they're looking at what we're doing and they say they're monitoring us, they say they're putting us on lists, that's all the more reason to get in their faces. We have to take this back. We cannot be intimidated about this. Whatever their motivations were, certainly the government wants us to know that they are watching us. That's a large part of what's going on with all of this. 
They want to intimidate people. They're always doing predictive programming. They do it through the movies. They do it through press releases. They can do it through leaks. Many people have said that they believe that that's what's behind this. May very well be. The question is, what are we going to do with the information? A lot of people will criticize InfoWars for exposing what their plans are, what they're doing. We have to wake people up to see what's going on. And if their lesson is that they're going to back down and not doing anything, that's, that's not <laughs> acceptable. We have to stand up. And, and that's the thing about the Bundy Ranch that, that got me excited was that people finally stood up and took to take back their rights. Thank you, Billy in California. Let's go to uh, Cody in Utah. Cody? Hi, David. Hi. Uh, I wanted, first time caller here, I wanted to congratulate you on the coverage of the, that we got to see at the Vic, uh, Bundy Ranch. Oh. No, uh, don't, don't congratulate me. Listen, we've got to go to a break. I hear the music coming in. Hang on, I'll pick you up right after the commercial break. Yeah, please, uh, yeah, I appreciate the encouragement, but you know what? It was the Bundys that have been fighting this for 20 years. It was the Bundys who had the calm resolve to lead people peacefully to stand up to the police state. They're the ones that we need to thank. I would like to see those guys, any of them, The elected. Victory Seed Company is a family-owned, farm-based organization working to keep rare, open-pollinated heirloom seeds available for your home garden with no unstable hybrids or GMO seeds sold. Learn about their mission at VictorySeeds.com. And for a limited time, enter Victory at checkout to receive a free garden planning tool on orders over $10. Grow your Victory Garden with Victory Brand Seeds. Seeds, VictorySeeds.com. My name is Jessica Armand. I'm an activist, a GCN listener, and mother of three. Our drinking water and food are filled with fluoride and other contaminants that harm our teeth and gums. To protect my family, I created My Magic Mud, an all-natural teeth whitening and strengthening remedy. My Magic Mud is a soft powder that polishes your teeth, reduces sensitivity, and removes harmful toxins from deep inside your mouth. You deserve a bright, healthy smile. Visit MyMagicMud.com and get yours today. That's MyMagicMud.com. Do you want to feel awesome all day long? Do you want to sleep so good you wake up feeling awesome the way you did when you were a kid? Feel awesome with no caffeine, just awesome tasting nutrition. Try Passion for Life and rediscover your awesomeness. Call today, 844-TRY-LIFE. Call 844-879-5433 or visit 844-TRY-LIFE.COM. Attention all radio listeners. Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95 but today, it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com. MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. A little over a year ago, I began to do a lot of research into why, even though I had a pretty good-sized meal, that I was still starving. And my research led me to a well-known fact that most of the soils that we grow our crops on here in the United States and across the industrialized world are almost completely depleted of almost all of the key minerals and trace elements that our bodies need to rebuild themselves, fight off cancer, and be healthy. I then searched out the best vitamin and mineral company out there and discovered Longevity. The Longevity products are designed to give you the real nutrition you need, and once you've got that, you don't have to eat as much to be satisfied. I've lost 37 pounds in two months simply getting the vitamins and minerals I need. Check it out for yourself. It's incredible. Go to InfoWarsTeam.com today and order your first canister of Beyond Tangy Tangerine Complete Multivitamin Mineral Complex Dietary Supplement. That's InfoWarsTeam.com. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and we're taking your calls right here in this segment. I wanted to tell you that this hour of the Alex Jones Show is brought to you by Pro One. And we have a special right now at the Alex Jones, uh, at the uh, InfoWars store. The Pro Pure Traveler is 25% off. Today is the last day of that sale. Now, you know, one of the things that I realized standing out there in the sun for the long time that we were there was one of the most vital things for your survival is water. You can't go very long without water. We have a very complicated 
very fragile infrastructure. If you're going to make preparations in case something happens to the infrastructure, and you should, one of the key things you need to do is prepare for your water needs to make sure you've got a clean source of water. And even before the infrastructure collapses, and let's hope that it doesn't, it still filters out fluoride. And if you're on well water, it gets rid of glyphosate because that's something you really need to worry about if you're on well water because people who are using Roundup, that's the chemical in Roundup, that can seep down and get its way into the water supply system. So today, ProPure Traveler, 25% off. This is the last day, and you'll find that at our store. Now, I was just talking to Cody in Utah, and we had to go to a commercial break. Uh, Cody, go ahead. Tell, tell the uh, audience what you were thinking. Well, I was thinking, um, I, I have listened, I've been following the Clive and Bundy story for a little while now, and um, I had listened to the show on Monday, uh, the, and, and then I listened to the Glenn Beck show later that day. And Glenn Beck, uh, just, you know, it's just been really bothering me how he's been, you know, trying to deface us and deface uh, any peaceful movement and, and call it, you know, the saying that we're the violent ones. That, you know, we weren't pointing any guns at anybody. We had guns pointed at us, you know. It, it's just funny how he can cowardly say that we, we're the ones that are portraying this deadly revolution. He was asking, what, what are we going to do even if we did have a revolution? What, what would we even do? You yeah, know? I was very surprised at the tack that he took. He had an article early in the week that was seven points that he went down. Every single one of them sounded like the talking points from Bureau of Land Management uh, press releases that I had gone to. They had teleconferences, and we listened to their stuff, and it was like, this, this is not what's going on at all. This is just mindless propaganda. He was repeating that stuff and going beyond it. As I mentioned, he hung the label of sovereign citizen on Mr. Bundy, which is not at all what he was saying. He was saying that the local law enforcement is sovereign there. And that's, as Texas Representative Stockman has pointed out, that's what the federal law says, that if they're going to go in and use force anywhere, they need to contract with local law enforcement to get this done. But uh, it wasn't just in that area. It was like, are you seriously defending Harry Reid and saying he's not involved in graft and corruption? Look at the ENN deal for 9,000 acres where ENN got that for 10 cents on the dollar. That's a done deal. And you can look at all of these solar mitigation plants, the fact that they pointed directly to the Bundy Ranch as essentially their carbon credit for these solar projects. Harry Reid has revived the ENN project in the past when it was faltering. He may do that again. Maybe that's what he was talking about when he said it's not over. Who knows? But he came out and he stepped it up again. Let's, let's play that clip real quick for people, the one where he accuses people of being domestic terrorists. So these people who hold themselves out to be patriots are not. They're nothing more than domestic terrorists. And I think that we are a country that people should follow the law. And what went up in Mesquite is not very good. I repeat, what went on up there is domestic terrorism. Okay, Ter domestic there you terrorism. Go. There you go. Domestic terrorism. And of course, that was a narrative that was being sold on Glenn Beck's channel. One of the things that really amazed me was that one of his six, seven talking points, one of them was, this is about the turtles. If he had read the book that has his name on it about Agenda 21, he would know that Agenda 21 is part of this. But he didn't present anything fairly in that very disappointing. We're going to be right back. We're going to take some more of your calls right after the break. Stay tuned. The Genesis Communications Radio Network. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply.
supplies worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139.